Hello YouTube, this is CM Kozman again, back to paleontology, back to the fault of paleontological discussion and speculation with a very interesting and one might consider amateurish and excited proposal, but still, I'll nevertheless go ahead with it. My question is, in the light of the very recent shuffling of the classification of dinosaurs by uh, Baron and friends. Could it be that some of our theropods may not actually be theropods? Now, this is still obviously confusing to you, and I will have to warn you that even though I will try to keep things easy to understand, you will need some sort of paleontological introduction to be able to fully grasp the proposal I am making here. So please consult the references I've, prov I've provided in the links below. And without losing much time, let's go. Okay, the new proposal of dinosaur classification, as you might know, uh, completely appended our view of how dinosaurs are organized. Instead of Ornithischians on one hand and theropods and sauropods in another branch, now we have theropods and Ornithischians in one branch. And on the other branch, we have sauropods, but also some very strange early theropod like things called herarasaurs. Okay, so now that's what got me thinking. Uh, why do we assume that, of course, assuming that this new 2017 version is really canon, is, is really a reflection of how evolution progressed, why do we assume that the herodosaurs died out in the early Triassic? Could it be that some later animals, which we take to be theropods, could it be that these animals are actually descendants of the herodosaurs. I'm looking especially at this one group or even one genus of predatory dinosaurs known as ceratosaurs, ceratosaurus. So could it be that the ceratosaurus, which we take to be a strange kind of big theropod, is actually a Herodosaur descendant. And in this respect, could it be that it's actually a sauropod related meat eater mimicking the meat eating dinosaurs of its day? Interesting proposal, isn't it? I, of course, have to exclaim that I have no paleontological credentials, so unlike some other researchers who are making these great claims and defending them, I will simply throw this out there as a kind of proto-hypothesis, okay? I have no expertise, I don't know how to run these computerized cladograms, but I would be really excited if some of you could do this. If any of you listeners know how to use this cladistic software, if uh, any of the authors of the 2017 article are listening, uh, can you give this idea a look, you know, encode the characters and so forth, and see if Ceratosaurus, and especially Ceratosaurus lineage, comes out as a descendant of Herarosaurus, and not the early theropods such as Eoraptor and so on and so forth. Now, I told you I have no official information to back this up, but if you look at the skulls of Herodosaurus together with Ceratosaurus, you kind of see that this kind of heavy teeth and loose jaw thing in common with both species. And to make things more interesting, if you look at the skeletons of Ceratosaurus and related species, you see that the hand is completely unlike the hands of other big theropods. 
they have got this kind of four fingered bibble instead of a three fingered hand and in later relatives of ceratosaurus this bibble gets even more bibbly and it kind of becomes this knob arm thing which has no equivalent in the dinosaur world whatsoever so that's one interesting development their hips also look quite deep uh, slightly like Herodosaurus, but also in a way completely unlike it too. But also the hips also have other characters which I might interpret as primitive. They are not fused to as many bones in the vertebra, for example. So that's another similarity between Herodosaurus and Ceratosaurus. And also... Ceratosaurus, much like Herarosaurus, seems to show this heavy set of gastralia, which are this kind of uh, belly ribs. Now, I don't know if this is a derived or a novel characteristic, but also Ceratosaurus also has a covering of very interesting nodules on the back kind of making it look more reptilian than the other big theropods which we know to be uh, are more bird-like and more lightly built so a very interesting set of characters once again i wouldn't be surprised to be proven wrong probably i am wrong you know there is no joy in propagating these grandois theories and sticking to them but it's still an interesting convergence and in if nothing else but in the very unlikely case that this is actually supported by phylogenetic trees in the future i would like to go out and propose a new group of dinosaurs that constitutes the sauropod dinosaurs Herarosaurus, and if this is really the case, Ceratosaurus and Kin, which are supposed to be this really badass pseudo theropods, these theropodoids in disguise living until the mid Jurassic. And if by a miracle such a clade is supported in the future, I would like it to be named Melek Sauridae, Melek from the Hebrew word meaning ancient king. And this would be a completely badass lineage of mystical and ancient and badass dinosaurs, big plant eaters that shake the earth, small predators, and descended from that a last gasp lineage of big predators in the form of Ceratosaurus and relatives, Melek Sauridae. Completely badass and a really kind of enticing theory, isn't it? I think this is one of the main things that drove people into paleontology and this is one of the main things that draw, the, draw people into this kind of really wild unscientific tangents i mean there are certain vagabond researchers out there who support completely unfounded phylogenies saying yeah pterosaurs are lizards and so on and so forth and it's the sense of noticing something that no one else has noticed it's the sense of bringing a novel perspective into an ancient and mystifying chaos i think it's understandable how these vagabond researchers operate now i will be no vagabond researcher i will just say melek sauridae is a cool very badass but ultimately sketchy hypothesis but if any of you are listening please run the characteristics see if such a tree is supported and if it is supported, I want this clade to be named thus. And that would be my drop of contribution to the swirling ocean of paleontological name calling and stuff. So yeah, that's it. It would be interesting to note actually in previous ages, I'm talking about the 80s and the 90s, 
strange theropod like groups have were actually proposed for example i think some researchers were considering teratosaurus to be a big early theropodoid like an early dinosaur that coexisted with the theropods and it was interpreted as a big kind of theropod like thing teratosaurus look this guy up but it turns out the skull material came from a tachodont which was a kind of more crocodile type animal and so teratosaurids were really not a thing later on there was another proposal an early triassic big meat eater not an early triassic sorry a late triassic early jurassic big meat eater known as aliwalia but i don't know what happened to that either and then there was something called poposaurus which didn't float at the end of the day either but who knows maybe in the future they will really discover a big meat eater related not to mainline theropods but to hererasaurus and kin and that might throw another spanner into the works whatever happens uh, the world of dinosaur classification has truly been lived by this 2017 2017 proposal and that proposal itself may be falsified in the future but again just by the virtue of existing it can drive forth these kinds of mental speculations and if taken with a grain of salt i think such speculative thinking is really healthy for anybody of knowledge and paleontology is no exception so there was that some of our theropods may not be theropods maybe they are melexors who knows cool word cool memories cool idea but once again i'm not betting any amount of money on it what do you think what do you think what other strange relations might this new theory of dinosaur dinosaur classification uncover please comment in the comment section please add me as your youtube watch friend or whatever and please like and share this video guys uh, that's that from kozeman center for now and once again speculate but don't take yourself too seriously let science and evidence and testing be the judge of that as usual test test again and test again and then also test again <laughs> this is a joke that only a few will understand but i'll make it nevertheless okay that was my five cents have a nice day and goodbye